Hi, um, my name is Brad. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to demonstrate how you can supervise an iOS phone, Apple phone, with Meraki Systems Manager and give you a kind of run through of how that's done. Um, some things you need to know going into this. I've got a MacBook Pro 13 inch machine that's running brand new Sierra, but this is an iOS, an Apple phone, 6 phone and it's running 935 so it hasn't been upgraded to the newest 10 yet. I did that intentionally so we can go ahead and we can push the upgrade to 10 through Meraki Systems Manager later and you can see how that works. Okay, so to do this you need to get a tool called Apple Configurator. It's available through the Apple Store, it's free. In fact as of this day today, September 14th, they just pushed out an update so you'll want to get that update, which I just did. Um, you can launch the Apple Configurator. This is what you'll get right after you start through it. When you install it, you hit accept. goes through the process of going through getting the configurator. And so the Apple Configurator is the ability to put a secure profile on an iOS device. The Meraki System Manager uses that specifically to make a, a device in System Manager supervised. And the difference between a supervised device and a managed device for iOS devices is significant. What I mean by significant is, is that you have a whole lot more options to be able to control the device if it's supervised than if it's managed. And by control I mean you can, you can add or remove programs remotely, you can remove um, other profiles, you can find out when other things are installed, you can turn off Wi-Fi, you can remove applications entirely. You can customize the screen to the point that it's a single application and they can only get to the calculator. So And URL, domain, Yeah, white URL, listing. whitelisting, fil filtering, all that stuff. You can go ahead and say, I don't want you to get to, you know, whatever site.com and that's it and nothing else. So you have complete control over the device if it's supervised as opposed to if it's managed. Um, when you supervise a device, you place this profile on iOS and it also reinstalls iOS so it makes the device completely fresh from scratch so when you supervise a device anything that's on it already goes away because it basically goes to a brand new reload um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that I'll show you what we do right now there are a couple other pieces to this that we'll have to get to a little bit later but this is the basics for supervising a device first of all you have the Apple II configurator up and running you get a regular old charge cable and you plug it into your iPhone. You're going to get a couple prompts here for you know camera upload and all this kind of stuff. You can say whatever you want for this. Now it sees this phone. This phone by the way was wiped clean. It doesn't have anything on it. I just went through the basics. I never inst um, installed iCloud, never did anything like that. I just got it to a basic functioning phone. Um, and it has no other configuration aside from that. The main prompt you see on the phone is, through the phone you see it says you need to have it trust the computer, so you need to have it trust that machine. That's part of the certificate for that. Once you say trust to that, the phone's now available, and you see that on here, it sees the phone as well. And that's the exact screenshot of my phone. The one up there represents that there's an update for this phone. And the one is going to be the update to iOS 10, which is just available. I'm not going to push the update to that through this. If when I apply the patch, or apply the security certificate to make it be managed, or supervised, pardon me, it might say you need to upgrade to 10, and if it does, we'll upgrade to 10 then. If it doesn't, we'll push it out later once it becomes a supervised device through Meraki. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to create a new profile. Just a second, let me get zoomed in here. Yep. <clears throat> okay, go step through those steps. Yep. Okay, so right now, this is just a basic profile name, etc. But these are all the things that you can do with a supervised device. And as you see, the list is pretty significant. You can go ahead and put on the name of the profile, unique identifier, etc. Organization if you want to do it, whatever. Just the basic things here. This will be displayed where the profiles installed, that type of stuff, what kind of security controls, who controls when the profile can be removed. If they want to remove it, they have to go ahead and have with authorization. 
and then I can put a password so they can't remove this profile, this manage or supervised profile without a password. Um, there's some things that are related to that, and we can get to those a little later. But um, and then you can say automatically remove profile never. These are just general mandatory things. These aren't really verbose in their ability or granular in their ability to restrict. Uh, I'm so, Brad, yeah. when, when you supervise the device, don't you just give it Wi-Fi and then you can do all this stuff in the MDM? You can. Web interface. Yeah, you can do it that way if you want to do it that way. Or you can go ahead and do it all now and push it out through the configuration when you first start. It's your choice. Um, this is one way of doing it. It totally depends. So it's an option. Um, the advantage of doing it the way that you suggest is I can make this really, really quick by making it supervised and be done fast and don't have to do any of this. So let's go ahead and do that just for the heck of it and we'll just make it real simple. We'll allow all this stuff. And the reason you want to have Wi-Fi in the profile as it's doing updates and pushing config and policy you want that over Wi-Fi, not cellular, especially if you have a limited cellular performance, cellular data performance, and cellular data cost. Correct. I've also got apps that I can do through here and media content. And like Thomas already mentioned, we can go ahead and do this another way if we need to later on once it's already supervised. So content filter, all these other types of things, I can do all these things if I want to. And this is, if I want to configure Wi-Fi and have a hotspot through something else or go through wireless, I can do that. Okay, it's called slow LAN. All the rest of this we can deal with later. But if you look, you can see a bunch of other stuff you can go ahead and subscribe to here. I can turn off the cellular options if I wanted to. There are lots of different things I can do here. So once this is done, and I've set this, I've got the mandatory information here. I can go ahead and I can go to file and I can save that and we'll just call this test and that's done so now that that's set I can go ahead and I can push this um, where is it? Uh, remember actions I think it is I can't remember where it is to push this off to So is the config the profile? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's I haven't done this in, in like four months, so yeah, it's been we might have to poke around here a little bit. Don't, do you go to your device uh, config and then push So from it here, there? I can close this. Yeah, in here. And then here's my update, right? And then from here, I can go ahead and I can do prepare. Yep. And this goes through the preparing the iOS devices. And I can say my configuration is manual or automated enrollment. In this case, we're doing a manual enrollment. We can get into automated later. We'll talk about that another time. Next, if I wanted to have it enrolled in the MDM, I can have it enrolled in the MDM here. We're not going to do that for now. I'll show you how to do that later as well. But I do want to supervise devices. This is where it gives me the option to also allow the devices to pair with other computers if I want them to. I'm not going to select that. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll just call this test. I would name it your child's name so Correct. you have it straight in your uh, in your management console. Child one. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. you're slightly more creative than that when yeah. you named your actual child. But. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Now this gives me the identity, right? I can choose an existing supervising identity or I can generate a new one, either way. Um, in this case, I'm going to generate a new identity. Cancel there, yeah, sorry. This tells me show, shows which steps are going to be presented as they go through. I can say only show some of them or I can say show all of them. And this is what the, an iOS device goes through when it comes out of the box. You see these different things, the language, the reason, the setup, all this kind of stuff, right? if you set up the Apple ID, if you kind of do all this stuff. From here, I'm not going to show any of these. So it'll bypass all that information when you enroll the device. So 
So it looks like it's already been prepared. So we're basically reformatting it. So make sure you have all your stuff backed up before you supervise your device. Correct. Yep. And as you look on the device, it's going really quick. It went through already and now it's already rebooting. Uh, I missed it. I think That's I fine. It goes through really quick. And the reason we're doing this video is because based on it past experience trying to help parents, this is, seems to be the most difficult step. Once it's supervised, once you see it in your MDM Meraki web console, it's pretty simple to check boxes and configure what you need it to do. Yeah. Okay. Now that's been done. I've got the devices. Notice how in the before I had all devices, now I've got this as supervised. So this device is officially supervised. Yeah, I have to not. Yeah, that makes sense. See the profile on your machine? Did yeah. it work? Yeah. It's here. So you can see the profile's now been downloaded to the phone. Stand by. Just gotta focus a little bit. Uh, about right there. So the profile's been downloaded to the phone. It's not signed. That's something else we can do. We can actually sign it with a certificate from Meraki if we want it, or from something else. And that's because Meraki has a relationship with Apple. And so they trust. Correct. Yeah. When you create your MDM, you have to go ahead and get a certificate from Apple, and you can. And then once that Apple is Apple certs on your MDM, you can then sign certs, and then you can push them out this way, and that's how your profiles are created and signed. So that's set, and it's supervised. The other interesting thing to note is when you turn the phone on, it's hard to see, but at the bottom of the slide to unlock, you'll see text right there that says this phone is managed by and it says child one in this case but you can put whatever mom and dad whatever you want to put so it's managed or supervised part and now with this we can go ahead and self enroll it in MDM and once it's self enrolled with MDM we're set and we can push these configurations out ourselves cool and we'll show that later hopefully we will. anything else you want to show not for now. We'll do more. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. Really appreciate it. And